Hello everybody. <clears throat> oh man, what a great start. <clears throat> After break. Hope everyone is doing well. Between Nana stream is starting. And let's see, okay, the Twitch should be out. Let me get my Windows set up. Is the music fine? Mm. More or less. Okay, it seems to be good. Uh, so yeah, as the tweet says, uh, let's get right into it. As the tweet says, of over the break, I've more or less finished, or I mean pretty much finished, the player animations, the velocities. Mm. Wait, let me change the music. Okay, it seems to be fine. Okay, yeah, uh, the velocities and animations seem to be more or less fine. Uh, like, yeah, I think it looks decent. Mm, when you turn, the character rotates slightly. So there's that. And also, I've managed to update the FOV of the player when you're sprinting. Okay, the sprinting velocity, I mean, is not the highest, but yeah. Uh, it should now. Also, I've added the scaling with your with your uh, speed. So if you are slowed, then you will be going much slower. And if you are speedy, let me wait for it to run out, then you should be going much faster. I mean, not that much, but yeah, faster. Anyhow. Mm. So yeah, and the FOV adjusts correctly. So that should be done. And yeah, now we have two more features to finish before the release. And also, uh, after the features, before the release, I would like to port it like to, yeah, to other 1.20.1 versions of Minecraft. I think that's uh, a good strategy. Rather, that would be really nice to have on release. So yeah, that's done. And today we will start with mm, adding the configurable, making the passengers get passengers. Get max passengers, I think. Uh, yeah, making that number configurable. Uh, so, to get started with it, okay, first thing I'm probably going to have to do is add a mod menu. Let me download that real quick. Mod menu. The 1.20.4. Oh, the icon is different. I don't remember it having the Mario thingy, Mario showroom. I'm not sure what it is actually. 9.0. Yeah, that's for the alpha. Okay, not only for the alpha release. Why is there an, uh, an update? 9 version 9. What's changed? Yeah, actually, that's the same version version I was using. So let's download that. Let's put it in run. Let's see if everything's working. And then we'll have to figure out how to make stuff configurable. I think, actually, I could use a mod. I was checking out for the custom FOV profiles. Checking out this mod to see how I could adjust the FOV. And from what I can see, it has some mod menu configuration. Maybe not uh, mod menu, but yeah, it seems to have some config files, like custom FOV profiles. Uh, where is that? Now, where is it? I like get options, and I think all of those options are configurable. Maybe I can just... Hmm. Maybe, maybe the uh, what is it? The fabric wiki. You have an example on how to do that. Config. Uh, let's see. A configurable value is what I'm looking for. Okay, so there are mods, and yeah, there's my icon. Okay. And yeah, I need to add options. So maybe mod menu. 
tells you how to do it. That would be nice. Modus screen, okay. API. Configuration, let's see. Java API. Mod config screen. Okay, mods can provide a screen factory to provide a custom config screen to open with the config button. Implement the get mod config screen factory method in your API implementation to do this. The intended use case for this is for mods to provide their own their own config screens. Uh, the mod ID of the config screen is automatically determined by the source mod. Okay, provided config screens. To use a provided one, I think. The third party library modes, adding features. Okay, so let's see how is this done? Create a for the option. We have an option with a key and return new option instance. Where's that? Okay, so that's just imported. Okay, that's probably that probably has to be the mod ID. We have the key. Dash constant tooltip. Okay, and a translation. And try to <coughs> find a different example, just so I can see if that's how you do it, or if there are. Other ways. Okay, that should be adjusted more or less. Configuration. Then in the config. Bring up a. Uh, let me see if Cop and Joe. Has something on it. Why oh, is there a live scheduled actually? Or let's see, in a week. Okay. Uh, so let's see playlists. One point twenty, and let's see if there's a. Custom tooltips, tags, fabric data, texture, custom tools, modifying vanilla loot tables, okay, custom crops, custom stuff, updating to block entity, custom recipe, ray compatibility, okay, do I need that? Maybe. We'll see later. Rubble, okay, custom. Okay, let me see the GitHub. Oh, I forgot to update the stream title. Let me do that. Animations finished. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but the bells are ringing in a nearby church. Hope that's not too annoying. I think it's fine when I'm quiet, but when I'm speaking, you might be able... The mic might be picking that up. See, where's the main? And here, uh, let's see if he has added any config. options i think it was option instance no um okay it is option instance okay, so i guess he hasn't added any initializer Amable block registry, okay. Custom portal builder.
Any config folder? Okay. Let's try to ask find real quick. How can I add a config option? Configurable mode. I have a custom vehicle. I would like the max passengers number to be configurable in Minecraft slash config directory. Mm, how to implement config files for my fabric mod, okay? Okay, so there's... Huh? That seems like a really barebone barebone approach. In order to use our config, okay. I don't really want to have that as a library. Okay, so that's not too helpful. What about option installs plus on Minecraft? This one doesn't seem to know what I'm trying to do. Let's just try to do that. Where is that done? Is that on server or on client? I'm guessing on server. Let me just add that here. And let's see, entity, how about option? Hmm, should I be plural or not? I'm not sure. Option, let's see, mod options, then Java. Uh, class. Okay. Just need to register that, okay. Register. Mod options, let's try it like that. Okay, and now if I just import that. Well, let me do that at the beginning, okay. And there should be a log. Might miss because I haven't added uh, my logger, haven't used my logger, but setting user player 7, registering mode options, okay, so that's here, that's nice. Now let's try to import stuff, <coughs> import stuff, Turn instance, okay, so that's problematic already. Try to find that in linky. Option, instance, copyright. Let's see, actually. You should have received. Okay, I hope the licensing is fine. Man. Seems to be fine, kind of. The fabric, okay, no, I want yarn. Instance, okay. That doesn't seem to exist here. Maybe in modern intermediary. Okay, yep, that's here. Uh, so, what would be the equivalent? How did I find the equivalent for not some client, by the way? Hmm.
Red button, okay. How do I find that in four option? Oh, let's see that Minecraft client and let's see option. Game options, simple option, key binding. Class representing an option of a client. Exactly one instance of the class should be created per option. So I don't think I want it for the client, I think I want it to be a game option. Sticky key binding. Okay, so let's try game options. Okay, that seems the same, nice. Seems to be it. JSON, rather JSON. Splitter on, colon, okay. And generic stuff, okay, so that's, uh, does it seem the same actually? Read Boolean. And sound volume option, okay. Ah, so there's only one create. Get, 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 okay. okay so here's the constructor file. Okay, so by default, new file, okay. Options file, hmm. Okay, so while this will probably do the job, not sure if that's what I want. Key. Okay, does this not use the uh, the file? Other how? Why does this not pass a file? Get. Okay, accept. What that is. Okay, some key bindings and a different class. Is true, is false, update. Right. It's synced. Send client settings. Okay, is there like a description of how it should be used? Mining for jumping, okay. An array, try to find a comment that maybe says how it's supposed to be used. In no luck here. Okay, so let me try to. Look on the Minecraft modding Discord. Man, an update, okay. Well, Minecraft Discord, rather. Okay, uh, so let's try to see here. In Monda, yep. Config, configure request, auto login. Mm, what's that? Put you on fabric like player, join event in bucket. Okay, that's not it. Is there a config? Love config, cost of all my mods now. I just spent practically five minutes to port it. Which version because all its components is pretty non vanilla. The reason I think a client config has a place to exist is because I don't like needing to reconfigure HUD elements, add elements. 
Client config is unnecessary too. Okay, I like cosmetic configs. Okay, so yeah, if I don't find anything here, then I will just try to see how cloth config does it. Maybe how young, uh, one of the young mods, young's mods does it. Mixins plus config, config uh, GUI, GUI. I'm not sure how you pronounce it in English. <laughs> GUI. It needs the willpower to work for someone who devalues others' work. Okay, then make one with no UI. Mean that way. Hmm. What am I looking at? You're telling me small mod is worth hundred dollars. You don't know how to code, so uh, okay, I don't care about that. Okay, that's not helpful. To do any config besides the basic double int string, whatever it breaks, so I can help you here. Okay, so there's forge config spec config value. Okay, maybe I can import config something. Import config downloader like structure. Okay, big transformer Minecraft need. Uh, configured features, okay. Anything else from Minecraft? Configurable client methods, that's not it. Fabric server configuration networking, okay. Maybe. Okay, I think these are game options. Mm. But they don't seem to be too friendly. Maybe game options, game options, was new game options. Oh, need a client instance. I mean, that's Minecraft clients, so that's fine. And a file. Hmm. Okay, so I guess let me look a bit longer here. On dependencies, you don't need a config then, you don't, if you don't need a config then you don't need it, hey, so the directory for my here, there's a config class as well, should I leave this alone, leave this alone, or should I delete it, the tutorial I'm following doesn't have it. GLM got swapped over to codex, everything's moving to codex, even packets, not sure what codex are. Codex are slow. Okay. Config tutorial here. TJT, okay. Configuration. This tutorial will explain how you can allow users to configure your mod. Okay, the Forge config system uses TOML files for configuration. Okay, how about Fabric? Can I search? I can't. Configs. <laughs> Sorry. Not synced. Server configs are stored in the server instance. Okay. Basically, server should be the default because the way configs can be different depending on which server you play on. It's the most flexible technique. Okay, so there's register server configs, config, configs, client configs. Config spec builder, okay. Is there where's the basic project setup? Okay, and what version are these? 
the the forge okay that's not helpful forge config api port use forge config on fabric This Buddha using forge configs on forge and the midnight lip cloth or something for fabric or fabric or would you just use the lib for both? Actually cloth config I mean it's I think it's a really often used mod. So maybe I could just use it. Forge midnight. Forge config API port. Uh, does the snowy spirit have have the snowy spirit or immersive aircraft have any configs? Do they have any configs? <coughs> configs. And find the mixings config in your build .gradle. All relevant can it be done via config? To make a config for my mod forge, okay. Make a GLM global loot modifier. Um This one, config, config. And to make a config option where you can type how much HP a certain mob can have. Uh, where's that? Okay, here. Can you explain more? When I detect when a mob spawns, spawns and change it att its attributes. Answer trying to change it for a specific mob or all mobs of that type. Yeah, all mobs. Is that your own mob or someone else's? My own? This way I can think of is applying a persistent attribute modifier on the spawn. Finalize the spawn. Okay, this client giving me high wasted pounds. But how do you do a config? I try to connect the config with something it says that okay, I'm create mob uh, mob attributes upon re mod server configs. Okay, so that looks like hmm. forge okay. And why is there no um Went to the last page. Why is there no <coughs> example for fabric? And <laughs> scrolling with a wheel doesn't work here. See, the same one as use Eclipse with Neo Forged. Because configs to do with configs. Changing value in code is not a normal thing to do with configs. Configs are for the user, not for you, the modder. Uh, what's that? Items and listener, okay, not useful either. So I'm just checking this page and if it, that's if there's nothing here I will move on. Make your own config system. So add new run config. It's all based on a config option.
the fact that your world mix in, okay. Uh, so nothing here, fortunately. Let's see, is there anything here? Configure light at common configs. Uh, nothing here, but there are feature toggles. So there are some config builder, okay, that's from Moonlight Lib. Whereas, what's that? A resource location, so basically the ID. Okay, so just some builders. Uh, midnight lib Minecraft. Uh, not necessarily here, but sure. What about configs in the immersive aircraft? Main resource location client main data loaders. It's not it, okay. Mm. Agent access widener. Config, okay. And bullying config and config entries. Okay, so this seems to be uh, more or less int minimum default default attention policy. Wonder what's our attention. Not sure. Rush configs. Okay, so just mm. <coughs> some decorators, and they haven't created the decorator yet. Decorator yet. Don't think I want to start today, but these seem to be really easy. Menu integration. Okay, so this is using a. Okay, this is using a custom config along with the custom config screen. Seems to save that in JSON. Uh, yep. Okay, so just like that, it assumes that there's going to be the config directory. That's fine. If config file exists, else new config, config save, return config, okay. Let's see how the midnight lib does it, and let's see how the Uh, was it the cloth config? Does it cloth config API config screen API? Okay, come on, mm, fabric, fabric like. Wonder what's that. Get screen midnight lib okay and config screen factory. I'm guessing this is going to be in common or lib midnight config. Single class config library, feel free to copy based on that. Okay, nice. A one file config library for Fabric. It's in format of Fabric mode for ease of testing. You have suppress, suppress warnings unchecked. Integer hexadecimal. Okay, so if I copy that, I guess it should work. Let's see what it does. 
Okay, so this is for the actual config screen, and I just want options. It changes and gets screen. I don't care about having a screen, to be honest. Hmm. Hmm, platform functions is mod loaded and mod menu, okay. Click button true. Hmm. That's complicated. Not sure how that works. And that's uh, so let's see cloth config. And if not, I'm probably going to go with this one. And side that API for Minecraft one point fourteen. In the wiki for the API documentation. Okay, so creating a config screen set up with fabric. Doing superhero or something. Please do not use auto config, cloth config for server mods. Okay, so this is just for client, I'm guessing. Config option hmm. is it? Uh, is client side only? However, cloth config is only a config screen API, not actually a fully configuration API. Simply ignore cloth config when you are on client, or you can ask the server to send the client a copy of the cinnamon maintaining midnight lib, OOLib. I guess I can also see how the OOLib does it. Main mode, test mode, Java. Big IP abstract processor. Hmm. Option, okay. Describe the single option in the config instances of this class. Keep a reference to the field in the model class which stores the value used for serialization. Option may enter the so called detached state, which means its value <coughs> is being overridden by the server. This state, the option is completely immutable and can only be changed again afterwards. We have config name. The name, the key, default value, mirror, a mirror of the value of this option we use for emitting events. Backing field and constraint. Something command. Okay, so that's all of that is really complicated. Wish it wasn't. <laughs> and since I don't want to have a dependency, I guess I just have to do it the same way Immersive Aircraft is doing it. See what's that? This is the custom FOV. What do I just try to do that? Private static final. 
schon innen. Wenn ich noch nicht mehr dann nicht, dann nicht, dann nicht. Okay, let me try to do that first, because that seems kind of simple. So if I have a private static final, I'm not sure why I would need to have a private private field that's static. Let's see, option, there are game options. Okay, that's not the generic. I don't think that's it. Option instance client net Minecraft client. Okay, what's there? What else is there? Option related. Hmm, nothing actually. Simple option maybe. Okay, maybe. Class representing an option of a client, man. Okay, I think it was there, but I just ignored it because it said client. Hmm. Okay, so I don't want a client. I need a config. Unfortunately. Server list, a list of server info on the list can contain an unlimited amount of server entries. It is displayed on multiplayer screen. Okay, that's not it. Perspective, graphics mode, narrator, the key binding, game options, game options. Can I create something here? No, I can't. So what do I pass to it? Say client. Can I do and get client? Minecraft client and get <laughs> instance. Can I do that? Can. What if I do here just temp? A temporary file, the constructor string is undefined, okay, what does it expect? File, okay. New file. Let me do private static final file. And try that. Here do the file. And let's see what happens. Is there going to be okay? Minecraft client, game options. Package option does not exist. Okay, because I'm on the server, I'm guessing. Ah. How do you do game options then? Because this is just using the option instance. Create a 4v thingy. So a tooltip. Because let's see, I think game options is all I want to use. Does this have an add method? Game options, okay. Want methods or that? Update, add resource pack, profiles to manager, get sound, set player model part, load. 
set key cone, send client settings. It's true, it's false, accept, parse, get options file. Get AO, wonder what's that. Get FOV, okay. Get, get some unnamed methods. Okay, let me try to look up a tutorial, I guess. Uh, adding add simple configs to our mod in fabric. Okay, so I found okay, that's two years ago, but maybe that will uh, help in any way. And try to look some more server config. Okay, that's not it. Okay, so let's check the tutorial out. Fabric mod. Then basically change and influence, uh, well, some values inside of your mod and fairly easy to understand. And this is basically the class that we're going to. Simple config. Fabric simple libs. Okay, that's probably not updated anymore. Yep. Simple to use, single file. Okay, so let's say we have a file, logger. So that seems to be, I mean, the same. Um, seems to be the same thing the game options is doing. When game options needs a client. I guess. Uh huh. So this is just using a file. Get config file. File writer save. Wonder what JSON is to JSON. Okay, I mean I won't mind to just be a text file. To take the distributed structure, is we are going to copy over the class basically made to fish life method here. So something like you know some key. So I'll just do that, okay. On the options, let's ignore that, and okay. Continue the file. Version, I don't care about that. Logger, what's being logged? Okay, I like that. See, get config file, uh, have that. We'll borrow mod ID. Let's have text that and let's import the logger. Logger. Info Another loader create okay, where is that used? In here. Okay. 
Okay, the final static config. Dot Java get instance. Okay, so I see that. Okay, so let me just have a separate file for the logic uh, two. config that's going to be here be empty oh no that's gonna be empty here let's just have the or create okay so i need the config i need that method and save to field of config get declared fields okay extends json config okay okay so let me add all of the other version not sure what we want in version 4 Okay, and I want just a simple text file, text file. The new file writer, this. Should be accessed in a static way, okay. Mm, save, okay. I would want file writer. So write. So I need the writer. Right. And I want to want to write the to JSON this, okay. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. There, I'm not sure how it's supposed to work. Maybe we can get data. If this file doesn't exist, then we do the big config equals new config. Big save. Return config. See reader new. Okay, maybe okay, whatever, let's have a version, sure. And it's not say good practice. Okay, so I'm just trying to copy the JSON implementation and see how that goes. Instead of it being a JSON file, I will have it be uh, like the options text. Uh, let me see that.
So I should be able to just copy some logic from here. It's also using uh, JSON actually. No, what for source packs? In JSON, let's see options. Okay, so we have that this options file equals that new file. Okay, I'm going to do that. Oh, the room do that in one file. I don't really care uh, for it being split. I'm not sure what I would name this anyway. Choose config to import. In case to import the JSON and JSON. Oh man, <laughs> I'm struggling. Java file to import. Okay. Let me do that the same way the game options does it. We have options file. This options file equals that. Okay. Ah, and how do I do that? If I think now it means I need a constructor. No, I don't think constructor can return void. Such a dumbass. Public. Okay. More options. Can I not have that? Uh, no, I guess I do need that. Equals new file. Okay, so not. I'm not sure how to use version. I mean, not have it. <laughs> Easy. Uh, so I need options file. I do this. Can. So I'm going to do that in a moment. Okay, let's see what uh, client is 64 bit, with runtime, max memory. I don't think I need to care about memory. Client, where is client used? Get instance. Simple option, integer. Okay, so this is for client. Is it for client view distance? Okay, so I mean, this is creating a client option using that on server. So I guess I can do that too. Oh. And this client get data fixer and client settings get synced options. 
Uh, will I have to take care of that too? Maybe not. Since the current client settings to the server, the client is connected to a server. Since the current client settings to the server. Okay. There's a visitor. Man, why is all of that so complicated? Maybe I shouldn't just use a library. <laughs> What would be the reason not to? Otherwise than me being a stubborn dumbass. Should read that. Can you configure request object? ID namespace should be name of the mod ID. Can you configure request of path, fabric loader, get instance, get config the directory. Okay, like that. Actually. With properties. So let me do that. Like using the path. Path equals fabric instance. Fabric loader. Uh, what can I get? Instance. Get config directory. file this options file okay, let me just do that actually first and then I will see what it does mm, okay so I would like I guess path not resolve So we'll borrow mod ID. Okay, something like that. Checker for new file path is undefined. Okay, so I guess I need to do uh, two file. File and name. Name of the config file, new config request object. Uh, maybe that's fine. Simple config. Okay, so there's config request, file name, and file. Why would those two be different? Okay, I'm missing this gets and the thing. Maybe. Sorry if that's really small for you, small for you guys. But otherwise I don't think I would be able to get what's happening here. Maybe or whatever. Oh, okay. Let's have that. Read config. Rows IO exception. By creating missing files. Write default config data. Print writer. UTF8. Right, get config. Okay, I like that, actually. I have that. <laughs> that looks fancy. Options file exists. Is deprecated, public loader, instance is deprecated. Okay, what am I supposed to use? Public loader, get instance. Use that. Public loader API. Okay, so I'm guessing I need that one.
And let's see what happens with all of that. Okay, let's assume there's going to be a file here. Let me remove all of those, of these. There's properties, entity calling. Okay, so all of these are using <laughs> uh, different config files. I like that. That's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, so mine is going to be yet another one. So why not? And I would like to learn how that works. And then that starts. Nope. Okay. I don't have that. Could I have okay, so I guess let me do that uh, let me make it so that it works same way register mode config rename that to config. Not config, I think that's going to be here now. Let's close that. Ping, okay. Mod config, and that would need to be. Let's do that. Or is that not going to work? Okay, so that's not going to work. Can I do it here? Will it be mad at me? Okay, it will. It may not have been initialized. Mod config, register, mod config, okay. Like to do the make it public for a moment, public. Okay, so it's not final. Maybe it's fine. And do I need to make it static for a moment? This file can be resolved, okay. Let's see. Can be resolved this options file. Ah, uh, mod config. We like having a prefix here. Not a fan of. Not having that there. Can I do a throws IO exception? Okay, must be caught or declared to be thrown. Can I cut, cut it here? Uh, is there a try anywhere? Okay, there is. Mod config. Okay, so this takes in a re request. And it tries to get file. We're not using a default one. Okay. If not broken, we load the config. Logger error, logger trace E. But is that the same as throwing an error? Can I do that? Okay, can I do that? Oops. Catch exception E. Oh, exception, I guess. Uh, 
and the logger error okay that's not throw the error i don't think so Longer trace, I have trace, I have okay. What does it not like? Can I do that? Option is never thrown from the try statement body. Place any file by converting the given path name. If the given string is the empty string, then the result. Is the empty abstract path name okay throws null pointer exception so i guess i can create the file just like that and then i need to see if it exists maybe I hate the nested class, oh man, I'm oh, so not a fan of this. Like, why is there a nested class here? <laughs> what for? Uh, I mean, I did nested enums, but that's not the same. Is that here? Okay, hash map, config, config request, request, boolean broken. Okay, so there's the default config. Let's see, there's the configure who has to say so. Uh, we do the file and we do the set the default config provider is to generate the config if it's missing. Default config. Close the config from the file system. Simple config. Okay, so I just okay. And then get config. Either get file name and then new line. Get config okay, so that's probably for saving. Makes sense. We're creating missing files. Create config. So I can allow, kind of, oh man, kind of like a uh, loader create method that would do that. Let me not do it here. Okay, so I create a file. Then just do that. I'm guessing this file is not going to be created. It will be just exists false, and I need to take care of doing that. Okay, so yeah. In the config, there should be nothing here. Should see some logs in the wheelbarrow, maybe. Any logs? Minecraft mixing stopping. Okay, so not from wheelbarrow, but just a system out, which for some reason is not there. Let's do my favorite logging method. Register mode config. Okay, so we got the config directory.
Okay, so that's here, creating config file. In the run, config will borrow text exists. It's false, okay, so that's perfect. Okay. The config file seems to be in the correct spot. Okay, so now I'm assuming I need to load or create it. Hmm, one code exception. One code exception. Okay, I don't need to think about it yet. Let's see, try. Options file, do I have? All right, save. I'm probably going to need something with file writer. Most likely. Okay, I'm having fun actually, I like that. Writer, right, okay, where is the writer? Okay, here, print, writer, why print? Print, print writer. Uh, let me see what the game options uses. Options, writer, print writer. Okay, so that. And we have the standard char sets, UTF 8, Rai. Okay, version, game version, fine. Accept new visitor, not sure what these are. Okay, so we print the key. Okay, so I think the visitor, okay, so yeah, visitor probably goes through all the, yeah, probably goes through all the keys, and does that, okay, so I don't think I care about that, probably just going to return a list of all my config values, except, actually whatever, I'm going to have one config value, I don't care about enumerating through them, just keep it simple. Get codec, encode JSON instance, get value, visit stuff. Okay, so let's say create a print writer and output stream writer. This is the given char set out. And what is the out? A new file output stream. Let's just try that. Try. This options file. Okay, so I need it to be private. This is just static in context. Private. Private, uh, not static. Actually, I want static. So then let's not have this then. Fine. Okay, what other? Okay, I need the catch. Uh, what exception am I catching? Uh, yeah. Okay, I have the writer, I have the UTF-8. UTF okay, that's, by the way, so much stuff, like... I really need all of that. It's an output stream writer. File, output stream. It's a file output stream to write to the file represented by the specified file object. The new file descriptor object is created to represent this file connection. First, if there's a security manager, it's check right method is called. Okay. Sorry about my micro microphone. If the file exists, but it's a directory rather than a regular file, doesn't exist but can be created or can be opened for any other reason, then that is wrong. Okay. 
Okay, so I think I want to do that only when the file option this does not exist. If options file exists, see, test whether the file or directory denoted by this abstract path name exists. Returns true if and only if the file exists. Okay. If it doesn't exist, then we gotta create it with the default values. So let me have a public static final default values. Okay, uh, what does it have to be? A map, I'm guessing. Are there, by the way, default parameters in Java? I don't think I've seen any. Okay, so let's make that a string. Default volume. Let's have that be the max passengers to another one, okay. String, okay, so that has to be uppercase. Uh, let's see if that's the format. Okay, so yeah, this is the common case. And just after a colon, okay, I think a music, the music run out. So let me find something. I guess it just pause for some reason. I think I've listened to it actually. And then let's try that. Not sure how I feel about those, this kind of music, by the way. I guess it's just fine. I don't pay any attention to it anyway. So if anybody has a preference in that uh, regard, let me know. We'll try to figure something out. Okay, so list type. What's that actually? Type token. Maybe that's useful. Uh, let me try to see. So how does this simple config? Big get, get our default, string value, um, integer, integer, integer value from config corresponding to the given key, put the default integer if the key is missing or invalid. Okay, so get all the def or default. Boolean definition, I think that's or rather the default, okay. Equals ignore case. Okay, so parse int. How do I want to do it actually? Um, hmm. The default filter create the default config file. Let's see. Can I do that? Nope, I can't. So what do I do here? Error. Can I do that? Error string in is the type logger. In the type logger is not applicable for the arguments. Okay, how do I re-throw an error? Can I just do throw e? I can't. <laughs> um okay, but how do I crash the process? Broken. Can I do error race? Nope. Let's 
Trace, hash code. The way does it not like that? Because I think it. Trace. Can I do that? Maybe. Okay, we'll see. Okay, so I know what the config directory is. Creating config file. Okay, so after I write it, and then I can, I guess, return. Otherwise, I try to read it. Private int I do dot can uh, so let's say I have private static final file. Uh, I mean okay, I guess it can be static. I have private max passengers. I do static on that. Whatever I can, so let's do it. Sorry, okay, so there's the default volume. And let's not care about like having a list here or anything. And this is going to be really simple. I can only that. Even if there's two values, and I mean I can just handle two values. Like unless there's like three or more. I would consider making it a list. I think one is definitely manageable. Manageable. Uh, so let's see. Okay, so otherwise, I gotta read it. Info created the default config file. So oh, let's see. So far so good actually. Still worrying about the server client part. Will I have to do any of that? Because this doesn't seem to be doing anything in that regard. It is the config file from the file system. Not sure why I would want that. Restart the game to regenerate it. Okay, so something happened. Creating config file, creating the default config file, okay. Okay, and there's the wheelbarrow text. Okay, nice. Like that. Okay, so I need the public static get max passengers. Uh, int return this max passengers and use this in a static context uh, not double return public private okay maybe that that's what I'm trying to do So what's going to happen if I start it now? Okay, so now let me try to read the contents. Load config, where is that? Rows exception, scanner, request file, line, okay, parse config entry.
Country split, okay. Uh, so let me think. Scanner equals news new scanner this options file and uh, let's see other string contents equals scanner read get uh, next line So I gotta do that again. Try final scanner scanner equals new scanner. Okay, I having fun actually. Really like uh, what's happening. Let's see. What do I want to do if the config file is invalid? Do I care? Uh, maybe not. Maybe I just warn, and then I will be using default value anyway. Okay, so... Uh, how do I do that? If... Scanner... has next line... get okay i like to just have you know i do need i guess next lines let's see while scanner has next line scanner gets next line uh, what does it do? Once the scanner passes the current line and returns current line and returns the input that was skipped. Is that how we do it? Yes. Okay. And line. Catch. Uh, what is the exception? Okay, the same. One. Else to try removing it to and restarting the game to recreate it. Okay, that seems useful. Useful message. Mm, and, okay, I guess I would like actually have a path here in okay, so I want the options file and get path canonical path mm. Parent, parent file. Okay, let's just try that. And actually, let me comment that and let's first see what that looks like. In okay, so what if I change that and create it now? Will it throw an error that's trying to create? over an existing file, or does it not care? Will it just overwrite it? Ok, 
Okay, it seems to care. Oh, no, never mind. It seems to not care. Uh, so let's see. Uh, created the default config file. Creating config file. Created the default config file. Okay. I'm just throw an oopsie here. Okay, so actually, what happens if I overdo override it? Override it. Uh, oh, it's empty for some reason. It's on. Alright. Hmm. Okay, but do I need all of that actually? Yeah. Then given char set. Print writer creates a new. Okay, how does this do it? Starts with get print writer. Okay, so even just like that, maybe I can do that too. Uh, let's see, I have options file, okay. IO exception. Okay, so I mean, I like that better. Standard char sets. Pro. New IO exception. Oopsie. Okay, so let me remove that first. Let's clear the terminal. Okay, I mean, I'm spending a lot of time on it, but I'm having fun, so I don't mind. I probably will just finish it off stream so tomorrow we can um, do the uh, eating of the players. Oh, it doesn't exist, so now it failed. I didn't pass that check, okay. Okay, so now it should throw an error. Okay. Uh, render thread. Okay, but it's pro it proceeds as normal. So how do I throw an exception that actually rushes the game? So wait, there's the trace. Uh, created the default config file. Okay, let's see if it has the value. It does. Alright. Uh, overrides. And how can I make it? Whatever. Check that in a moment. Exception oopsie. Trace. What does this do? Rowable. Is trace enabled? Okay, so I guess trace is just for is trace enabled. Can I do the here? Logger. Enable trace set. Nope. Okay. What is the trace for actually? <laughs> Add trace. Is trace enabled? Make logging event builder. Is debug. Hmm. Marker. Man, I'm not sure what. How this works Let's see java logger trace oh it's so bright oh man ok 
Okay, don't mind that. I was testing the characters. And that didn't help. 4J, Trace. Okay, I think I can just chat GPT-8 actually, because that should be rather well known. Uh, what does the S, what is it? SLF4J. Your Trace method do. Simple logging facade, facade, facade. <laughs> sure, for Java. Trace entering some method. Log messages indicating the entry and exit points. Okay, so this is for trace level, okay. I don't care about that actually. Can I do that? Will that stop the game from running? Okay, it did. Nice. Render thread. Okay, so let's see. Uh, initializing game could not execute entry point stage main due to errors provided by wheelbarrow. Failed to create the config default config file. Okay, so let me add where. Add class uh, options file get path. Let me play a game. Uh, description initializing game. So let me see that. Crash log, crash report. That should be this one. Could not execute uh, provided by that. Okay. Exceptions. Oopsie. Cause by. Uh, exception. Oopsie. Okay. So that's all right. A detailed walkthrough of the error. Unknown details. How useful is all of that? Not very useful. Good not. It's my error message failed. Okay, so that's not here, fortunately. Pause. Okay, so I mean it's not too useful if there is if it doesn't provide like last logs here unfortunately clips adoption initialization a detailed walkthrough okay, so we'll just uh, ask what error should i have here maybe i could check the there is broken broken if broken an error occur, occurred during loading or reading from the config. A broken flag is set, indicating that the should be discovered that using the delete. Okay, so I'm guessing this is supposed to be done externally. Print stack to trace. Catch. Print stack to trace. And print stack. Trace, okay. So I mean, I want the message to be somewhere. My beautiful message. Catch. Okay, so there's throw. I link legal access exception, runtime exception. Is that a runtime? Okay, that's not a runtime exception, I don't think. Return new config. Time to load. Default config is used for now. Delete the file to reset. Okay, so I mean, I could use the default config when we fail to read it. I'm not a fan of it. Let's see what it looks like now.
Yes, I mean it's starting. Which I don't really want. I want to crash the game. And that didn't work. I yes, we have Java exception. Oopsie. Crash report. Okay, so a new one wasn't created. Okay, there are logs, I guess. They're huge. Is that empty again? It is. I wonder why. Can I override it? Offset. Oh. Using the Java print writer. I mean, I shouldn't care about it because it shouldn't be called only when the file doesn't exist. Whatever, but how do I print stack trace? Print this variable and its box trace through the standard error stream. This method prints a stack trace. Can I have that here? Or, okay, it doesn't like that. Print writer, print stream. Okay, what do I do with errors? Okay, whatever. I'll ignore it for now and check off stream. Think what. Uh, find out what the errors should look like. So now that should happen only when the file doesn't exist. So let me remove that. And now I gotta I gotta read it. Read read it, sorry. Uh, trace, I don't care about that. Uh, print stack trace, okay. Let's create the to read the config file at there, okay? Let's see. Line as line, okay. First, it should create and then we read it. Oh man, I don't want to throw. Created the default config file. Okay, so now there should be no. Yes, yeah, so I just created line max passengers. It shouldn't. Okay, I don't have return here. Okay. See, I only have one line, I guess. Line max passengers. Max passengers. Okay, so let's try that again. And I guess I will skip empty lines and then and split. And if the first line is the max passengers count. Then I will set it with the value, the parse integer value, a line, 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 max passengers one, okay. Let me add some junk to it. More lines, some empty, fake value, okay. Something like that, and an empty at the end, sure. Let's see that. If line is empty, okay, so if not line is empty, then we print out the line. See what lines get printed out now. I'm not sure what the difference between blank and empty is. If and only if length is zero. Okay, specified by is empty in char sequence. What about line is blank? String is empty or contains only white space. 
I mean, I could use that, actually. So what if I add some white space then? Do that file. Here I have some spaces, and now I'm assuming this will get logged. Check if it's blank. Okay, yep, now it printed out the line with only spaces. And if I change that to is blank, what do I care about it? Okay, so how do I do line split? Entry split, entry starts with and not entry starts with. So I mean, there are no comments in the text file. Are there comments in the Minecraft options file? That doesn't seem like it. See, now the empty lines should have skipped, okay? Let's see. String. Uh, parts. Equals. Line. Split. They split the string around matches of the given regular expression. This method works as if by invoking the two, ar two argument split. Okay, let's see how the game options does it. Split. Come on, splitter. Limit to splitter. What's the splitter on that? Limit to. Okay, so I mean, I like using that. That sounds, looks fancy. Uh, what does it want? Uh, colon meter, where is that used? Okay, buffered lines for each. Let me import that because I'll... Uh, the way it looks. String, for example, yields the following. Okay, what does it not like actually? Method uh, split in the type string is not applicable for the arguments char. Okay, so let's not use it actually. <laughs> because why complicate stuff? Game options. Why does it care? Okay, because I'm on the server. Rather in the server environment, the same thing. So what do we have? String and... Okay, so it's giving me an array of that. Uh, can I do the... parts? Can I do that? Or will it be uh, useless? Man, I'm really enjoying myself. Uh, it's taking so much time, but I mean, I'm having fun. Okay, yeah, so that's the C useless, unfortunately. Mm, parts, the length, plus parts. Okay, I think I can't, can't do uh, size. Okay, why can't I do that? Length on array type string. Okay, what can I do then? How do you 
get the length length of the oh, it's not the um, uh, uh, method my bad Okay, so two, one, one, two. Okay, some empty. Okay, so I need two parts. If parts length is different from two, then we continue. And otherwise we do, okay, so let's say string property equals parts. One under zero and string value equals parts one. Uh, property Okay, like that better. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Some value empty. Property sum, value empty. Okay, so all of that is fine. Mm, okay, so let me have a boolean here. Boolean found max passengers. False. Let's see, if property equals max passengers setting passengers to value okay and that has to be here and max passengers equals true Let's see if not found passengers and we do will borrow logger uh, warning i guess mm. oh man, my stream manager crashed for some reason okay, so let's say warn max passengers config not found in the config file using the default value Okay, so if we search it now, we should get the setting passengers too. So you're creating config file. Max passengers config not found. Passengers. If property equals max passengers, okay. Hmm. So why? That's uh, not it, but. Let's see. False, false. Okay, I think I've messed that up. If uh, is blank, then we continue. Okay. Hmm.
Yeah, I must have messed something up with my refactor. Let's see if it's blank, then we continue. Otherwise, we get parts. Checking max passengers. Okay, so this is false. Property. Is there no sound, by the way, when I'm closing the game? I thought there is the click. Same for every other button, but I guess not. Equals. False. Checking, 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 okay. Continue and split. Checking more lines, some empty. Oh. Okay, what have I messed up? I mean, it looks fine. Split, can I have the max? Can limit. I mean, let's have it because why not? Reading, checking max passengers. Why is there a false? So you're checking line and get here, and I move on from that. There's another checking, but for some reason, oh, okay, I probably need that. Actually, fix the logs, my bad. I'm not really digging that song too much. Checking max passengers equals false. I need... Oh no, this is supposed to be that. Max passengers. Hmm. Okay, why does this not equal that? Oh, I missed, misspelled something. If property is max passengers, then we do. Okay. I think max passengers do that. Checking some, checking max passengers. Okay, why does this not equal not? Maybe I need to do like equals string, it's not null, and these are string objects and they represents. Maybe I, that's how you do it. I mean, I guess. I don't mind it. So let's see. Hopefully that works now. Equals true. Okay, we've got that. I think max passengers to one. Okay. So now let's try to do the parsing. Let's see how the simple config does it. Parse, okay, exception, return, default, okay. Uh, so, I gotta do the 
on max passengers through and then I do the parsing this rather the max passengers prime catch exception e Max passengers, oops. Equals, uh, let's say, integer. Uh, value. Okay, and we do a warning again. And to parse the max passengers config value. Yes, and let's have the value. Should be an integer. Okay, so I like that. Oh, that seems fine. Okay, that should be it. That's verbose, but uh, easy enough to understand, I think. So if I set it to a floating point number, it hope that it works. Uh, hope that it works fine. I mean, what happens if somebody sets it to a really big or really small number? I mean, I don't care. Really? Okay, so I guess it doesn't like the floating render. I wonder why. Huh, why is that on the render thread? Red, sorry. Max passengers config value should be an integer. Okay, the exclamation point got lost. So this works fine. Let me add a to do here. Entity and other config. Initializing, initializing and the reading default. And the reading. So now I probably have to use it somehow. Or probably I need to save it too. Well, that's for later. Let's try to use it for now. So if I were to use it here in the client, but here, entity, so I need the wheelbarrow on thing. See, I have item. Okay, how do I access the config? Public static. Uh, hmm. Okay, maybe I just import it actually. Maybe it will be fine. More config. Get. So I mean default value can be I guess private. Public okay. Mount config. Get max passengers. Uh, that should probably be somewhere else so that it's inaccessible rather the uh, but I don't care. Plus one. Uh, 
uh, moon config, get max passengers, okay. Let's see, how often does it get logged, actually? Okay, so max passengers is one. And if I restart it, there's no config yet. I think that should be easy enough to implement. If I restart it and set this to... M. Mm, and yeah, that should be easy enough. Also, I need to check what the FOV looks like for the uh, passenger, because I haven't seen that yet. Because I've checked the FOV for sprinting passenger, and yeah, not for the cargo passenger, or rather for the controlling passenger, sorry. Else to remap mods. Okay, so translate to IO exception. I guess I need to close that file, I guess, after reading it. Hmm. Next is the file, yep. Okay, so I need to close it. Okay. So nice that I've caught it. Now. That should be 10, okay, so that's working as expected. Okay, so here do I do... Let's have a finally... And options file, close. How do you close a file? Delete on exit. Exit. Close. Nope. Delete. This file. Notify to path. Can read. It's hidden. Set. Delete on exit. Okay. How can I close a file instance in Java? File input stream. Huh. Do I do the print maybe here? Close. Okay, does that happen autom automatically? Previously closed stream. Okay, so I'm probably here to scanner close. Okay, that should be good enough, hopefully. So I mean, you probably would run into an issue if I start two instances now and it will be mad at me. Rather, I mean, yeah, they could try reading the file. Um, together at once, but I mean that's... Uh, I don't think that's something I need to care about. I wonder if I can just keep that. That's silly. Okay, so is it still being used, I guess? How do I... Re-it. 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 Oh man, sorry. I guess it is felt to remap mods. Cannot access file. File, file. Is there a close somewhere? Okay, there's the writer close. That's it, huh? Okay, 
file, a new file, okay. File input stream. So that's a different version. File input stream close. Okay, I'm gonna take a real quick pee break, so I'll think about that, and uh, yeah, be right back for a moment, in like two minutes. I'm back and uh, let's just power through that real quick. Mm, okay, so I can't do that. Editing failed output. Process cannot access the file because it is being used by another process. And uh, nope. Mm. Okay, I mean, I do I have to store it? Here, keep a reference to it, maybe that would help. Java file close. Uh, file have a close method. In Java doc of the, the abstract representation of a file. In your presentation, uh, my personal opinion is that this uh, it's rather unfortunate that some we went on to create random access file causing much confusion confusion. Open file, okay, therefore, actually, this class was misnamed by the library authors. It should be called something like path. Define length, okay. Okay, so this isn't actually a file, but I do close these. I don't think I have it anywhere else. Oh man, lost the editor. Lucky. Let's hope the LSP starts. Oh man, it's not starting. It's unfortunate. Come on. Um, okay, so I don't need that. Maybe I do need it, okay, so let's no whatever, I will do that later. Uh, okay, LSP is not starting unfortunately. I hate when that happens. Okay, but why when I'm closing scanner close? Okay, nice. And I'm closing the writer. Why does that not free up the file to be accessible by other 
uh, processes. Print line. Closing writer. And here we do close scanner. So I mean, if I start it now, I should see one of those logs. And now I should be able to start another mm, client. Maybe I need to see how the game options does it. Let's check that in a moment. Uh, so yeah, there should be a closing log. Okay, closing scanner. Now if I start another client, now it's expected to run fine, but I don't think it's going to be fine. Yeah, okay. Exception cannot process because it's being used. Can't access. Hmm. Game options, okay. See close. Okay, so it doesn't call close anywhere. Uh, so how does it handle it? File. Just file. Exists. Okay, so there's a reader. Offered reader. Where is that used? Lines. And okay, it doesn't seem to be closed. Have a print writer. Also print line. Print, print. Okay, so that's for visit. Where is that closed? Okay, that's not closed either. I mean... Okay, whatever. I will think about that off stream, I guess. Uh, but yeah, now let's just handle adding multiple passengers. Other clients access file. Mm, and let's clean up that log. So I mean, okay, I'll keep the close. Both of these. And let's handle the uh, passenger attachment position. So uh, that should be easy now because I've already made a thumbnail using that. Uh, so let's see, get attachment position. passenger attachment position and now I just need to if it's not controlling passenger and it's player okay so let's see if it if it's not controlling passenger and okay so I need this to apply to everybody other than the first passenger except if it's not a player so if Uh, let's see. List entity. Just equals this get passenger list. And that's what it returns. Yep. Okay, so if. Okay, and I need a slice of it. Oh man, I should have saved how I did it. It needs to be offset by one. Okay, so under int offset equals zero. Um, so this get controlling passenger instance of player entity one otherwise zero. Okay, I think that's fine. Now I just need to loop through the passengers and the offset passengers skip. Okay, how do you? Clear add index of iterator where I sublist okay sublist yep and I need it to be offset and this has to be the passengers size 
Okay, and that has to be for entity entity of that. Getting offset width of okay, and I need the index of actually the this person this passenger offset and paint index of whatever I guess I can just do that. So I need the passengers index of passenger getting offset height. Of entity. Okay, and let's see, that should be good enough. And then uh, just make the. Hey, hello, sub Jot Rox. How are you doing? And yeah, that should be how I offset the passenger's height. If there are multiple of them. I'm quite good. Happy to hear that. What about you? I'm uh, not too bad as well either. Rather, spent last two hours uh, figuring out how to make the config for my mod. More or less works. There are two to dos, errors, and the yeah, and other clients cannot access it. But other than that, it's working. And I just need to add the logic, and after that, make it configurable through the mod menu. And that's about it. Yeah, now if I okay, so okay, <laughs> so I messed up the offsets. <laughs> I guess <laughs> man crash report, okay. Unexpected ticking entity. Is there a way to try out your mods? Uh, there's only one mod at the moment, the one I'm currently working on, and no, currently there's no way to try it, but yeah. I should finish it this week and after that I'm going to publish it. I'm working on the last two features that I want to add before I publish it. So one is the multiple passengers config and the other is uh, eating the entities from it. So yeah, it should be out by the end of the week, hopefully. And next week it should be available on multiple micro versions. Okay, so let me see what these are okay so i guess the index of passenger yeah this is going to be larger than the and that thing uh, so i need to do that only if okay so yeah uh, i should be doing that only if the passenger or man when that happens and the passenger is not okay so basically this is one and this is zero and it doesn't work like that sublist throws an error i think how did i handle that before uh, can't remember so maybe if not is player Discord, there's no Discord command, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, I don't have a Discord. Sorry. Yeah, no Discord. Um, hmm. Should be a Twitter link below the stream if you want to check that out. I post updates there, more or less. Uh, yeah, I mean, Post on this there. Okay, so if not is player uh, or offset is greater than zero. Okay, I think that's what I want to do. Okay, so if it's not the play the player, then it's probably on either the zero index or any other. And otherwise, if it's a player, then I want to do that only for the players. Yeah, for when the offset is grand. For when they are not the first player. Uh, 
maybe can do different other different from zero different than zero oh man that should be an in the index of my mod int index equals i think that should be the index Passengers. Okay, everything should be fine. So we have for non players, we want to do that always. And. Actually, I want to do that only if the index is. Yeah, okay. This index is greater than equal to zero. Actually, it's not zero. Yeah, I don't want to do that for the first entity. Okay, let me restart that again, and that should be the final time. And after that, I can just update the logic. I think getting offset of entity. Okay, so I guess one more return because I want to adjust that log. That's that for passenger. Mm, offsetting by height of entity. Okay, so yeah, that should be it. And my editor started lagging slightly for some reason. Yeah, the offset logic is really simple uh, except for i have to get it right <laughs> the first passenger so if the index is zero then we i don't change the offset and otherwise i should adjust it by the index of the other passengers so let's see offset is oh is that right actually? Okay, so let's see if I yoink something now with a cow. Okay, it doesn't crash. Nice. Offset 4, cow entity. And has no other entities. And now if I yoink second cow. Okay, then let's see. We have offsetting. Offset for cow entity, setting by height of the other cow entity. So y offset uh, entity get height. Yep, that should be correct. Okay, yep, that's working perfect. You have setting for cow by height, of setting for cow by height. Okay, so this is the same cow and yeah, by the previous cow's height. Okay, nice, let's go. Okay, and if I add a chicken and let's say a cat, and let's say a hmm, sheep. Okay, so yoink a chicken. Okay, so they get put at the top. Okay, I don't mind that. That's fine actually. Okay, yep, there's a cat and now a ship. Ship. Nice. So simple. 
and easy. Okay, they are kind of floating, but that's fine. Not config to do, close. Entity, offset, passengers, stacked, passengers, position. Okay, so there's that. And let's see the mode config again. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out what the error should look like. I'm gonna figure out how to do to make the file accessible by other processes and maybe I should do that in finally if scanner no okay so I can't do scanner here Okay, so I'll figure that out of stream. Now I just have to see how to do, rather how to plug that into the mod menu. So I have load config. Is there the mod menu? Nope, there isn't. Uh, website. One menu wiki API remote can be done purely in JSON metadata mod ID config. How do I configure it? Date checker, okay. Translatable metadata, Java API, Java API for other things, for more advanced things. Use the API, implement the mod menu API interface on a class and add that as an entry point of type mod menu in your fabric mod JSON. Mods can provide screen factories, okay, static helper methods, create mods screen, creating a mods button text. Okay. So if I were to mode mod menu when do I have the mod menu thingy okay, I haven't configured in configured it in entry points I add the mod menu come assassin mode wheelbarrow example mod menu mod menu API Mm, okay, where do I add that? Let's add that here. API. Implements. Mm. Implement the mod menu interface on a class. Okay, so I probably have to add that as a dependency then.
Oh, did I see being done anywhere about the menu? Initialize the config. For that, okay, true, false, mod menu, config screen, if is mod loaded. Mod menu, how to mod menu implements mod menu API from that. Okay, so I have to add that as a dependency, most likely. Okay, yep. Links, badges implementation okay, so I mean I don't want it to be required we'll see that goes into the build.gradle and dependencies uncommand the following rook API Uh, mod menu version, okay, that goes here. Mod menu version, let's see what's that. So it should be able to start, I think. And can I remove it from run now, the mod menu? See if I put that here. And it started now. Okay, nope. Problem occurred. Couldn't resolve. Or files do not find that. Hmm. Okay, I think I don't shouldn't have uh, the root project there. It's the project. I mean, it's trying to find the correct version, so yeah, I don't think that's the issue. Setting, failed to set up mapping, mappings, okay. Okay, yeah, that's a long error, that's probably not going to be too useful. Process can access the file because it is being... Man, really? Wait. What file is that? Hmm. Let's try again, and if not, then maybe I seem to uh, have to probably have to run clean or something. Okay, let me kill these. Oh man, nine gigabytes. <laughs> okay, that's concerning. What? Or is that not memory? Okay, it's gone now. Hmm. Okay, let's try without any demons. Demons, demons. Nope. Okay, did not find that. Okay, so maybe the oh. link is wrong, I guess. Mod implementation, mod menu. Is that anywhere else? Auto mod menu, Java implements mod menu API, parent, get screen, and map of factories.
Home Terraformers, and C. Where did I get the mod menu previously? Hmm, forgot. So I've already did something like that. Yeah, for some reason it's not working now. Home Transformers MC. Mod menu. Project mod menu version. Left mod menu, okay. Uh, where can I look for it? Snow Spirit, maybe? Probably not. Say immersive aircraft, mod menu. Okay, so let's compile only, exclude fabric API, version 4, proof config, mod menu version. Okay, I don't like it having a dash here. Compile only, can I not have these? Exclude module fabric API. Compile only, huh? Full implementation. Let's see that. Oh, that's support for mod menu and cloth config. Now, do I need to add support for cloth config too? Mod API. Let's try that, why not? Any version project Let's see nope transitive false. Mod compile only. Roughly enough items required to run J G I G E I, I guess. <laughs> implementation, mod implementation. Math parser, transitive, false. Okay, that's not telling me anything really. Okay, but maybe I just need to clean cache. Other stuff related to it. Compile only. Okay, so that's for fabric. Here it's for common. Mod menu integration. Implements mod menu API. I like it having been in the integrations, by the way. Integrations, that sounds nice. Uh, integrations, okay, and here I gotta do wheelbarrow. Hmm. Should this have integrations actually? Maybe. Config. Probably. And fabric, J mod plugin, Ray client, okay. Wheelbarrow, integrations. Okay, it's so probably something like that. But I'm not sure why this is not working. This is root and this is just mod menu version build. Okay, resources. All of that stuff. Seeing gradle properties. Mod menu version. Cloth version. Okay, so I'm probably going to have to uh, do some cloth integration too. Not sure what it entails. Shadow common configurations. But why is that not working? We need to shadow common, shadow common.
Let me try one more time. Okay, so I tried to resolve that. And I mean, those links seem like they should exist. What if I do to visit it? Nope. Man, I already did that once. Did that once. I'm not sure why I can't find it now. Hmm. 1.20.4 missing releases on menu return alpha okay, so I guess I'll just uh, try to figure that out off stream we got some stuff done today we're not too far from finishing it so yeah hopefully between the streams tomorrow I'll be able to finish the config it mod manual init integration init mod manual and uh, yeah after that we will try or rather add eating the entities on the wheelbarrow and that should be it after that yeah the integrations the cloth config because I guess that's something I have to do after mod menu and the porting to the older Minecraft versions 1.20.12 and 3 possibly, I don't think 3 is being used. Yeah, and that's going to be it for today. So thanks everybody for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye!